Sharon Skelly, your host of Business and Gray, and we're here today with Jean Bell at the Pumpkin Coach. It's a relatively new store here in Owen Sound, and we're located downtown in the plaza by the Metro Grocery Store. Welcome. Thank you. It's a wonderful store. It's all about cosplay, and I guess the first thing we could do is tell our, our viewers what cosplay is. Um, cosplay is a combination word of the combination of costumes and play. So the concept is you dress up and you have fun. That's all there really is to it. So cosplay, um, a lot of people think it's like, oh, it's just like Halloween and stuff. You know, cosplay, it can be any time of year um, for any occasion, whether it's a, a convention or a movie premiere or a fancy party that you're going to with your friends, or as far as I'm concerned, people who put on their hockey jerseys and paint their faces and go to the attack games, they're also cosplaying. Okay, that gives us an idea. And we hear of people going to these conventions in Toronto. I know my, my daughter goes to the ones in Vancouver and they, they have um, people that they like to follow that are perhaps um, their um, actors in certain shows and that sort of thing. Is that what you're talking about? Yes, absolutely. Fan conventions um, where people can often meet actors, writers, comic book artists, voice actors and, and the like, anyone who works in the entertainment industry. Oh, my favorite was Merle and the Walking Dead. <laughs> uh, just a shout out to that. So then we have one here in Owen Sound, don't we? We do. Um, it's at the library. Um, it's the first Saturday in May every year. It used to be a free comic book day event, but due to some logistical changes, we decided to rebrand it as the Owen Sound Mini Comic Con, or Osmocon for short. And it's a free event. Um, it's run by the Youth Services Office at the library, so a lot of it is family-friendly um, events and contests and workshops and it just keeps getting bigger and bigger every year. Do you have anything to do with that? I do. Um, I'm one of the organizers. Uh, previously I was helping out with the video game tournaments that took place in the auditorium um, but since I've opened the business I'll now be helping out with the workshops as well as the vendor area that just started this pre previous year. Well, you mentioned your business and that's why we're here and this <laughs> store is filled with really interesting things but it just so happens we're here at Halloween, but you're not busy just at Halloween. No, no. Yeah. And uh, you have some interesting things here in front of us. One of the things you have is, uh, of course, we'll, we'll start with Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> You've made a treat bag. Yes. And it's a good size treat bag for someone, um, you know, a, a child. Tell us a little bit about that. Um, this is actually a personalized treat bag that I've made for a friend of mine. I do custom sewing as well as costuming, and I teach sewing classes. So um, I wanted to make something that would be useful. So um, it's a square-bottomed trick-or-treat bag. It's got mm -hmm. the customer's name embroidered on the front, um, which I can also do with one of my embroidery machines. Um, it's got a drawstring on it. Um, it's wide. It has a large capacity. It can hold an entire pumpkin, but it's also short. So if some little person's carrying it, it's not going to be dragging through the dirt. Yeah, it's it's very nice. It's good quality cotton, mm -hmm. washable, quite durable, and it can be reused. Absolutely. That's the good thing. Um, so you mentioned your sewing. Yes. So you do sewing classes. I teach sewing classes for beginners. So um, people who are interested in learning how to use a sewing machine um, or improve their sewing techniques, I can help them with that. Okay. Now, you, you mentioned that you sew, and if someone was interested in having a costume uh, sewn or designed, you would do that? Yes. I would either, um, if they can commission me to do it entirely, or if they want to learn how to do it, I can help them get started and point them in the right direction of what to do and when. Um, and how to change any sort of design elements from a pattern because as well as sewing I can also do um, pattern alterations. Wow, you're, you can do just about anything when it comes yeah. to costuming. <laughs> so you could give them uh, the tips along the way or you could just tell them go out and buy this material. Yep. That sort of thing. You've got a costume here that yes. uh, is quite interesting. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Um, this is a costume inspired by um, video game character Princess Peach from the Mario series. Um, one of my childhood heroes because she was the only girl in the game and I was the only girl in my family.
family. So it had been sort of a, a lifelong dream of mine to dress up as Princess Peach before I even knew what cosplay was. So when I got involved with Osmocon at the library and we came up with the idea of having a video game tournament, I thought, oh, this is perfect. I have an excuse to make my Princess Peach dress now. Um, so I got a princess dress pattern uh, from Fabricland and it had a different neckline here, like it scooped down like mm -hmm. this. So I had, using my um, education with clothing design, I was able to change, alter the pattern note so it went all the way up to the neck and then I drafted the pattern for the collar as well because there was no collar pattern. So it's a good example of the, the skills that you have and, yeah. and, and the way you're able to modify a pattern. Yeah. So there you go. There's a, and, and it's a beautiful, beautiful costume. Thank you. And of course, along with a the costume, there are uh, accessories that go Absolutely. with it. So I noticed you have a great line of wigs here. And I was um, looking at, admiring this one here. The quality of the wigs, if you touch the hair, is really quite. It almost feels yeah. like real hair. Yes. Yeah. So you can um, play with the hair, you can curl it. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about the wigs. Um, the wigs are come, come from a, can a Canadian supplier called Art of Wigs Canada. They're originally based out of the States, but they've branched into, into Canada. Um, they're made of a high quality nylon fiber called mm -hmm. Hyperlon that's actually heat resistant up to, I believe, 375 degrees. So you can actually use tool, like your regular tools, like your okay, straightening irons, straight. your curling irons to, to change the style of the wig. Um, this one in particular was one that I was playing around with. Um, and then recently I had an opportunity to get in contact with a potential customer who was interested in this wig specifically. Um, so since I've already made a wonderful mess of it, I'm in the process of restoring it and straightening it so I can basically start over from zero and go back to making these big curls. Um, oh, so you're doing this curl effect to the hair. I'm going to do a better one. Oh, a better one. Okay. <laughs> well, it's pretty, it's beautiful that way. Thank you. Um, so people can order these wigs from you. Yes, they can purchase the wig as is. Um, and my pricing is the same as on Arda Wigs Canada's website. Um, but I can also uh, customize the wig um, by adding hair to it or curling it or straightening it or cutting it. Um, I've had a few wig commissions now since I've opened um, that I've shipped out. Like I had one going to Toronto and I had one that went to Alabama last wow. month. Wow. Um, and you have a, an, a sample wheel here of colors and, and um, the, you can actually touch the, the hair yeah, of and the you, wig here. This is great because artists wig fibers come in a large variety of colors and sometimes when you're looking at a computer screen you can't tell exactly. which color would work the best. Um, so I have this color ring here and it's got all of the wig fiber colors that are available. And you it's can amazing. put them together, <laughs> compare and contrast. Um, what I often do for my customers is um, if they're not in town, if they can't come in, um, I'll take comparison pictures of three or four colors that they liked and show them this is what it looks like in natural lighting, this is what it looks like with the flash on, this is what it looks like next to this color, which one do you like the best? And yeah, so that's a really good way to get the wig customized. Mm -hmm. One other thing that I saw that was really intriguing was these contacts that you carry and um, you can tell us a little bit about them. I mean, they're they are amazing to see. <laughs> um, I carry a brand of color contact lenses called Primal. They're based in Montreal. It's a Canadian company. Um, because of the federal regulations around contact lenses now, it's um, a little more difficult to get cheaper ones um, because they might not meet the strict safety regulations that are required by the federal government. So these ones are good. Um, they are non-prescription color contact lenses. These ones are purple. These are ones that I've, I've worn myself. Um, you have them in every color. There's every a whole... color, every style. Um, they're good for three months after they've been opened, so they're not just um, one-time use. Yeah, so you can wear them if you'd want to. Now, every some day. of these you wouldn't want to wear every day, but there are some that are colored, like there's different colors. Yeah, there's like blue for instance, and... these ones are um, enchanted lilac, but my eyes are blue, so it's a little hard to tell when I'm wearing them, but if I was wearing like my, my Pennywise eyes. Pennywise then... is a... Uh... For those that don't Bright know. Bright yellow and orange. Yeah. Now, that's just one of the accessories. I mean, you have to actually come in and look around to appreciate all the things that are in here. Tell us a little bit more about what you have here on the table because, I mean, we've got makeup. A little bit about that. Uh, I carry a brand of makeup called Mehron. It is a theater uh, quality company. Um, 
So they produce high quality and long lasting makeups that are comfortable to wear, hypoallergenic, and when sealed properly, they can stay on for hours and hours and hours. So I can actually do a demonstration of some of the makeup if you'd like. Um, well, we could do one quickly. Okay. Just, uh, you could just put one on my hand just to show, because we haven't got a whole lot of time left, but I'd like to get, let the, the viewers appreciate. Uh, we'll oh, I love some, purple. That, we'll that's a good one. Yeah. yeah. Because this makeup really is high quality. And it's just water activated. So. Oh, yes. Yes, if you can see, that is. So that's it's just not like the, the oily makeup that you would expect, um, you know, that you buy for. No, it's, it's, it's a cream. 99. It's a cream. It's very yeah. soft and it actually leaves your skin. Oh, and I love the color too. Moisturized. Um, yeah, it is. And um, now, like you, we were saying, it's not just a Halloween, uh, you know, type of uh, year shop to come into. I mean, there are so many things in your shop that we could appreciate year round and because of cosplay, but also because um, uh, people entertain. Yes. You know, and. Um, holidays are coming up but people entertain year-round and they like to to now when they entertain they like to have themes yes so it's not just uh, um, something that we'll do you know from now until perhaps just February it'll right. be year-round exactly. now if people want to find your shop tell us exactly where they would find your shop my shop is in located in the Metro Plaza mini mall across the parking lot from the Metro grocery store so we I share the parking lot with Metro and I'm the second unit from the end closest to the harbor so I'm next to the farmers credit Canada office. okay do you have a, um, a website do you have a Facebook page I have a Facebook page and an Instagram oh. um, the website is currently under construction but I'm hoping to have it up and running sometime in the next month or so and that way I'll be able to process orders online um, out of town and, okay and so the Facebook page would be the pumpkin coach just go on there yep um, pumpkin coach costumes okay pumpkin coast costumes and that's how they'd find you on Facebook yeah now if they wanted to if a customer was interested in perhaps getting a costume now it's a little late for Halloween that's a spoiler alert <laughs> but um, if, if someone wanted to have a consultation around something a wig makeup uh, something for cosplay they would just contact you by PM on Facebook they or would they call you? Facebook. They could text the store phone or they could call me directly or they could come in and I would talk their ear off about absolutely everything and anything they wanted to talk about. Well there's certainly a lot to appreciate when you come into the store. I uh, wish you great success Thank in the you. store because I think that this is something that children, adults, seniors would enjoy and uh, I think it's a great place to drop into. So um, join us again on Business in Gray. Certainly come into the Pumpkin Coach and see what they have to offer here. I'm Sharon Skelly. Join us again. Welcome to Business in Gray. I'm your host Sharon Skelly and today we're at Grandma Lamb's Fruit Market here in Meaford. Welcome. Thank you. And uh, we here. have Darlene Lamb and Grandma Lamb, Grace Lamb. That's right. And uh, if you haven't been to Grandma Lamb's uh, fruit market, you are missing something. And if you haven't heard of Grandma Lamb's, I don't know where you've been. <laughs> because uh, Grandma Lamb's is an institution here. Uh, now, we are at the original Grandma Lamb's, but there is another location now uh, near Chatsworth. Yes. Mm -hmm. And how long has that been in operation? Oh, nine years. Nine years? Mm -hmm. um, now, I would say that uh, this one has been in operation much longer than that. How long has this one been open? 33 years. 33 years. Mm -hmm. I've got it marked up. <laughs> 33 <laughs> years. Um, I, I know myself, I've been coming here for a long time. And uh, now, we get many of us get our apples here for um, baking, just for uh, making applesauce, or just for putting in our lunches. Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell us about the apples that you have here? Well, there's quite a few different varieties of apples. And we start them in late September, and we still have them in our cold storages right through almost until the next crop starts. We have 13 different varieties, right from Ambrosia and Honeycrisp, Cortland, Spies, Macintosh, a wide variety of apples. So you have your own orchards here at Grandma Lamb's? Yes, yes. 
We have over 250 acres of orchard. 250 yeah. acres of orchards. Yeah, over that. Yeah. And that supplies both this location and the Chatsworth yes, location. Yes, yes. And my brother and my nephew look after the uh, orchards. How long have you had the orchards? <laughs> How long have you been on the farm, Mom? Oh, with, with my mother-in-law planted the orchard way five. back and. I don't know how many years 1945. ago. 1945. And we just had apples. That was all we had. Mm -hmm. No, no, nothing else. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'd pick the apples in the fall. And we had women pickers even then. And we'd go up the big, tall ladders. And that was uh, well, a long time ago. But now, yeah. then we decided that we would make a fruit stand. I was out here selling apples just in the fall. Just all I sold was apples, and that one day I made an apple pie, and my husband thought that was pretty good. So I started then making, that started the apple pie business. And I made the apple pies in the house, and I had an, an, a little helper out in there. And one day, and they, we used to make the pies in there and bring them out here in a little wagon. Because this was just, wasn't, wasn't a kitchen or anything then it was just selling apples yeah. oh so you would bring mm -hmm. the pies out to the apple stand yes. fruit stand yes. yes yeah yeah yes and then uh, and my husband said <laughs> whenever he'd come in we flower dust all over the place and he said think i'm going to build you someplace out there and i said yay that's great so we built a bigger place and then we started making it here so uh, when was that? Oh, yeah, 33 years, I mean. Yeah, 33 okay, years. Okay, so 33 yeah. years ago, yeah. you expanded to do more than just mm -hmm. selling apples. That's right, yeah. Wow, so that's yeah. quite a uh, mm -hmm. long time ago for uh, the expansion. Mm -hmm. See, we had a cherry orchard across the road, too, so we had our own cherries at that time, too. So that's where the cherry pies came from, also. Ah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you were the one responsible for all of this good yes. food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I guess so, yes. Yeah, uh, but anyway, is. it's uh, it's worked out, and it? And, it uh, certainly uh, has worked <laughs> out. <laughs> and there's more than just one helper with yeah. the pies now. Oh, yes, yes. yes. Oh, well, yes. Our, my sister Barbara, she made all the apple pies. And we mom made all the fruit filling and all the fruit pies down here. So that. That was a great help. But so, can oh, that's sad to hear. So, yeah. you have expanded to more than just apple pies. Oh yes. yes. So, uh, what we have here is quite a selection of, of pies and uh, crumbles and Christmas cakes. Cake. Yes, Christmas yeah. cake, <laughs> and that's going to be very popular in the coming weeks. Yes, for yeah. sure. Can you tell us about the pies? What have you got? For varieties, yes. you mean? Oh, goodness sakes, we have over uh, uh, 14 different varieties of fruit pies, and then we also have meat pies now. Yes, I saw yeah. you have a freezer filled with meat pies. Yes, and chicken and ground beef and steak and kidney and pork tort and, yes, shepherds. Yeah, it looks quite chicken. delicious in there. Chicken yeah. pies, yeah. too. Chicken, yeah. yeah. And they're very healthy. Yes, yes. they are. Yes. Yeah. And you have, uh, I saw a freezer that said diabetic. Yes. selections sugar-free pies yes, yes. so yeah. every so. and there was some gluten-free yes. yes then yes. there'll be more gluten-free things coming in the future something yeah. for yeah. everyone yes, yes. we're hoping right. yes, yes. We're hoping. very good and we've got all that soup did you see the soup oh there? yes no i didn't that's a local gentleman too my daddy's soup and he makes it and uh, he has his own freezer here and it's, it's delicious and it's all pre-packaged and frozen so you just take it home very healthy. Yes, yeah, so what I what I was seeing here was it's locally sourced, mm -hmm. it's healthy, um, and you know it's it's not got a lot of additives. No additives. Yes, yeah, no so additives, you know no. everybody wins. Everybody mm -hmm. wins, yes. yes. And we've sold our local honey here from Thornbury since we opened too. And that they have a, a place in Clarksburg called the Honey House. Yes. But she also supplies me with local honey, which is delicious. Great. And I see you have Meredith's ginger. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here yeah. Too. too. Yes. Yeah. So tell us, going back to the apples, um, you have them in different, you can buy different sizes or quantities of yes. apples if yes. they're coming in. From five pound bag upright two bushels. Which you yeah. would see here. This would yes. be the... That would be the five pound bag or the half pack and that would be the ten pound bag or the pack. And they're easy yeah. to carry. Mm -hmm. yes. Absolutely, yeah. And, and there's all different varieties which are great for people. Yes, because some are good for baking, yes, some are some good are for good just... to send on your lunch. 
That's yeah. great. So um, now back to the history of the, the, the orchard. Um, you started out with one person helping you. You said yeah. a helper. Yeah. Yeah. Now you have how many people employed here? On staff. Uh, I think. Oh. Well, year round, there's um, uh, six of us. Okay. Yes, but yeah. there's a lot more than that in the summer. Oh, yeah, yeah. But through the year, they're here all the time. And then in the, in the summer, we have students come. And, and in the fall, of course, the Jamaicans come. Oh, yes. So you have people that come from another country. Yes. And they come and they do apple picking. They, yes, they pick the apples. And yeah. they, they pick them, sort them. Mm -hmm. And that, that's quite a, um, for people that don't know, for our viewers, they come here and they, they live with the um, yes. at live here at your or have, orchard yeah they have bunk houses at the orchard yeah yes and they become part of the community they do yes mm -hmm. and they live here for how many months well, uh, may, oh. may, may some. some come in may and then the rest come in october there's, yes there's uh, eight come in may yeah. and then i think we're to have 20 28 the yes and they become part of the community because they, they come to work at other orchards also mm -hmm. in the area and then they all oh yes yes yeah. and then they all go back home mm -hmm. and and then they they, and they like is, to get back home before it gets cold yes it's not very <laughs> they're not used to and they wouldn't be used to the cold here in the not winter at all and no. in the fall and winter and mm -hmm. then they go back and then it's uh, they they come back every year. And some yes. of them have been coming for years. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And they yes. come back every year. Yeah. Yes. And and that's uh, a tradition. For it them. is, and yes. we're so thankful for the, be able to yes. get them because um, I don't know how we'd get our apples off without them. Yes. You couldn't. They're, you we're couldn't. very grateful for their for their for sure. workmanship here. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. And it, it is um, it's something of the culture here in Meaford. It is. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Because yeah. we're not the only. Um, apple orchard, you know, that gets them. Yes. And they come from, there's some get them from Mexico too. Oh, yes. So we're thankful that we can get the offshore workers. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. It's it's very, uh, it's an unusual thing to have and, and we're very grateful for them. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. So um, now looking around your your uh, shop here, you have other things other than baking. You have. Um, oh, yes. Uh, yeah. I, we have a whole line jams of and homemade jams. Yes. We have maple syrup. Now, do you do these, or do we, you have? We do all the yes. The, um, all these jams and everything are done jams. here. Yeah. The, these we don't, mm -hmm. but we make all those jams. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you you make all the jam yourself. Who mm -hmm. does that? Cecile uh, Keenan. She's yeah. in the kitchen. She's in the kitchen working now. Oh yeah. So you have yeah. uh, pickles, and who mm -hmm. does those? That's the pickle guy. The pickle guy, yeah. and his name is Co Courtney's. No. Uh, well, them are, so that's and these are his products. Oh, so, I see. And they're all delicious. So, yeah. um, what kind of jams do you have? Oh, well, we have strawberry, strawberry rhubarb, raspberry, peach, blueberry, wild blueberry, grape. Wow, you that's name a it. great selection yes. of, of yeah. uh, jams and jellies. So, really, here at your at your. Uh, shop you've got quite a few uh, selection of things and you can get crafts and and uh, things like that yes, from we, local artisans mm -hmm. and we do a lot of gift baskets and at Christmas time we uh, people will even bring in things for us to do at Christmas time so so tell me a bit about that if someone wants a gift basket how could they arrange that to be done they would just come in and say I have a couple that I'd like to spend fifty dollars on or something and I'd like to have your products to give them for Christmas and uh, they would just leave that with you and then come back later to get it done uh, yeah, pick, pick it up, it up yeah and Good we have time. other people that will bring in something that they've made for someone that they'd like to incorporate in the basket we can do that too yeah. well certainly this is a great place to get your fresh apples, pick up a great apple pie or any kind of fruit pie. And meat um, pies me too. And, and meat pies, mm -hmm. shepherd's pies, um, chicken pie, tortier. Yeah. Um, and the selection of baked goods here, you've got, I was looking around, you've got cookies, you've got loaves, you've got muffins, mm -hmm. uh, you've got date squares, you've got butter tarts, you've got coconut tarts. I was just looking around. Um, and you've got, also you've got, 
candy and sort of, um, mm -hmm. you know, confections, mm -hmm. uh, any kind of confection, yeah. actually. A little bit, something for everybody. Yeah, maple yeah. syrup, I saw yes. that, too. local. Yes, yeah. mm -hmm. and uh, there's something for everyone. The Nanaimo bars, I saw those, too. <laughs> and, and you are an institution here, you know. Well, um, uh, and we're I, very fortunate. Yeah, we are very yeah. fortunate to have mm -hmm. this here because, really, Meaford is known for apples and apple yes. orchards, mm -hmm. and you have managed to capture that and uh, keep the legacy of, of Grandma Lambs going. Absolutely. And we really do now appreciate it. No. <laughs> well, you know, I've got to tell you, yeah. uh, my mother loves baking apple pies, and for years I've been coming here, getting the apples and taking them to my mother in Hamilton so she can bake her apple oh, pies, and she's going to good. be so honored oh. to know that I've met Grandma Lamb. Oh, my gosh. Well, we're honored. And, and Thank you. you know, the... the the area, um, you are known for your apples and apple mm -hmm. pies. Mm -hmm. So uh, what can you tell me um, about um, what the customers are like that come in here? Oh, they're lovely. All of them are wonderful customers. They're very thankful. Yeah, they're and they're loyal. loyal. Become friends. Loyal. Yeah, they're loyal. Are yeah. they all local or where do they? Oh, they come from all over. Toronto. Yeah, they Today come from all over. Toronto? Yeah. Yes. And a lot of people that are moving up to the area are coming and and, uh, and discovering yeah. Grandma yeah. Lambs. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of people moving here. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They've discovered discovered Meaford and Georgian Bay and that way they've discovered Grandma Lambs. And and you mentioned loyalty. People come back over and over again. They sure do. Yeah. And that's the sign of oh, a we're we thankful. Can get them hooked on mm -hmm. them. <laughs> that's a sign of quality business when you get customers over and over yes. again. Mm -hmm. um, do you find that do you get any p customers that are tourists? Oh yes, Ooh. yes, we do. And now we're getting some some people from the ski places in the winter time now that they know we're open. And that's nice too. So they can phone us up and they can have a hot meat pie, but they get off the ski slopes and take it to oh, their chalet. Oh, that's a good and, idea uh, too. Have their supper already. So. <laughs> well, thank you for letting us come in and have a tour of Grandma Lambs. Well, and you. we really wish you all the best and keep making you. your apple pies. And uh, thank you for letting us come in and look around. And we wish you all the best. So. Super. Uh, join well, us again on Business it. and Gray, Thank and you. you have to come in and buy one of Grandma Lamb's apple pies. Uh -huh. <laughs>